Hey guys, it's Cook3 and welcome to part 21 of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. In the last part, we got the tune of currents, we went back and forth in time a bit, we got extra bombs, and now we're gonna kick some ass! Except maybe not. Because. Do Octoroks have asses? It's never really made clear. And I really don't specifically want to know. Hey, we've been here before! This is the place where. Oh dear me. Can you use your shield against these guys? You cannot. I didn't think you could, I just wanted to test. Uh, so, yeah, this bit isn't too hard, I don't think. It's just a bit dangerous. Especially when you get close to the top of the screen. I hope you like my little close to the top of the screen song. Um, I only make it when I'm terrified of being hit by a boulder in the face. Um, which is actually surprisingly often. Anyways, this guy is now my favorite guy because he had so much health in his pots. I haven't had any visitors in some time. I am Pash, the restoration guru. Do you need me? Yes. <laughs> I see. You want me to repair that chuny nut? My restoration ceremony might fix it. Wanna try? Yes, I do. You are willing to try? Very well, follow me. <laughs> You're a crazy old man, but I like ya. So, how you doing? Welcome to Patch's Crazy Cart. Will you partake in my ceremony? Yes. Very well, do you want to hear the rules? Uh, no, I think I pretty much remember them. Let the ceremony begin! So, basically, he's gonna try to fix the tuny nut. Uh, these guys... Ah! It's warm. Yeah, you need to make it so that the cart doesn't hit the tuny nut. Um, I don't know if you have to defeat all the enemies or something. Oh, you do. That was really easy. <laughs> My ceremony succeeded! You are talented! You got through this uh, ceremony! Here is your tuning nut, as good as new! As usual, I am perfect! Hooray! Here you go! You got the tuny nut! Hooray! Bring me anything else that needs fixing, and I'll prepare my tra uh, ceremony. Link, don't walk to the left, dear. So, um, apparently you needed to beat all the enemies, or maybe it needed to go around in a full circuit, I can't remember. Uh, but either way, we did it. If the cart hits the nut, then you have to start again, because, you know, it just breaks it. Um, not sure why he decided that would be a good way to fix the tuny nut, but whatever. So, now that we've got the tuny nut, we can go into here and place it where it belongs in a glowy effect of awesome. Huzzah! So, now the balance is returned to Symmetry City. You can't really see the effects just yet, but just you wait, my friends. Just you wait. <laughs> um. See? Oh, how nice it is now. Hey! That child was a woman all this time! Welcome to Symmetry City! Perfect balance is the law of the land! My voice hasn't changed since I was a child, did you know? It's very weird! So I was right to... Ah, balls. Yeah. If you're gonna set up your current um, portal, you may want to think it through a bit first. Uh, so that you don't do stupid things like that. However, uh, through the creation or... Bleh, sorry, through the ability of getting the tune of currents, we can actually do something back in town when we go back to it. Um, but for now, we're just gonna stick with stuff as it is. So, this child was also a girl, who knew? Welcome to Symmetry City! Perfect balance of the law of the land! Hey, your sister or possibly twin self. Maybe they're just alternate versions of themselves. Ooh, eternal paradox. Oh, and now the men have turned into ch children who live on their own, apparently. There's just a child in this house, and a bed. And a pool, by the looks of things. Anyways, yeah. How you doing, kid? What a mess. Do I have to be bigger? Yes. You were bigger in the past, but now you suffer for it because you decided to sell your legs on eBay. It was really a bad business decision. Seriously. I'd have, I'd have thought that one through a bit better before, you know, selling my legs. Hey! You're not symmetrical! No! The world is burning! Ah! How you doing? What a mess. Do I have to be smaller? Oh, 
I think that they should swap places, maybe. I don't know. Except they shouldn't, because they're saying it to be symmetrical. Are you so stupid, Joe? Um... We don't really have time to do Skull Dungeon or anything yet, I think. Was that Skull Dungeon? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, however, what we can do is I can show you that special thing. Um, what we can do in town now. It'll be pretty funky. Uh, so, we can also show off the Gale Seeds. Go! Thank you. Uh, so yeah, you see these flashing points? Why can't we? Oh. Okay, we can only teleport up to Symmetry City in the f present slash future. Um, so, yeah, we can warp over here, though. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, we'll also be able to warp back to Toke Crescent Island. Um, however, if you stand here, this is where I always stand, at least. Um, if you stand here and use the tune of currents, then you get this little thing of delights and wonders. Um is pretty funky, known as Secret Shop Bit. Who knew? Well, I did, and anyone who's found this secret before did. Um, and yeah, you can find some pretty neat stuff here. We can't afford any of them, but you can get an upgraded ring box, which lets you hold three rings, a gasher seed, or a piece of heart. However, you need the right monies. So, yeah, kind of screwed there. Um, <laughs> So, <laughs> that didn't take nearly as, long, nearly as long as I needed it to. So, okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to teleport over here just so I can get out of the little fence bit. Um, and I'm going to show you that house in the graveyard area, which we never went to because, you know, we couldn't swim. Um, but we can now. Did I ever tell you what it was? Well, in any case, you're going to be able to see it now. Again, we're not going to be able to afford anything there. Um, I think... I don't think Tingle will give us anything yet, because when he says he needs... If you get more uh, mystical seeds, I think you need all five kinds. Um, so we still need the next kind, which I don't know how long it is until we get them. Uh, oh, I think I do, actually. I think it's in the Goron area, because, yeah, Gorons are in this game. Anyways, you remember, Maple? This is Syrup. I am the Great Witch Syrup, and this is my potion shop. Bring me what you want. You can either get a gash seed or this potion, which if you die, it brings you back to life. It's basically a fairy in the other games. However, again, we can't afford it because we have no money. Huzzah for being penniless slash rupeeless. Which we're not really rupeeless. We're fairly rupeeful, just not rupeeful enough for anyone to consider our custom worthy. So... And just have to be quiet now. Um, seriously, what the fuck? What the hell was up with that room in the dungeon? I know you can bomb that wall. I think. Seriously, and like it makes the noise of being bombable. There's a thing that says, "Oh, by the way, this leads to another area." But no, it's gash enough. By the way, it contains. A Wasn't expecting that, but that's very helpful. Thank you very much, Mr. Tree. I'll... I'll hug you next time I see you. Hey, you're gone. <gasps> Mr. Tree, you're back! Yay, Mr. Tree! I'm gonna hug you now. I can't hug you. So I'll slam you instead. Ah! Die, Tree, die! You helped me in my quest. Um, so... The zat und zat und zat und all. Uh, I think I'm gonna end this part here. Um, I might go and find loads of monies off screen and buy a piece of heart and the ring box. And maybe a potion. Or maybe I'll just try to find out how the hell you get into that room. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next part, guys. Goodbye. Embassies! Embassies, not bombs. Embassies. I was tricked. Tricked, I tell you. <sighs> ring time! Power ring level 1. Sword damage up and damage taken up as well. 
that's what it was.